Expelled, No Intelligence Allowed, is a 2008 documentary hosted by Ben Stein. In the documentary, Stein interviews Richard Dawkins, perhaps one of the most well-known and outspoken atheists in the world today. The following is an excerpt from that interview. Hello, Professor Dawkins. How are you? I'm Ben Stein. I'm just sorry to keep you waiting. How are you? Fine, thank you. You have, uh, you have written that uh, God is a psychotic delinquent invented by mad, deluded people. No, I didn't say quite that. I said something rather better than that. Oh, well, please tell us what you said. Please tell us what you said. Um, I, well, I would have to read it from, from, from the book. No, please. Dawkins' description of God clearly illustrates one of the defining characteristics of the new atheists. Aggressive, vicious, and provocative anti-theistic rhetoric. The God of the Old Testament is arguably the most unpleasant character in all fiction. Jealous and proud of it, a petty, unjust, unforgiving control freak, a vindictive, bloodthirsty ethnic cleanser, a misogynistic, homophobic, racist, infanticidal, genocidal, filicidal, pestilential, megalomaniacal, sadomasochistic, capriciously malevolent bully. So that's what you think of God? Yeah. How about, how about people believe in a God of infinite lovingness and kindness and forgiveness and generosity, sort of like the modern day God? Why spoil it for them? Oh, um... Why not just let them have their fun I'm and enjoy happy. it? I mean, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. I, I write a book, people can read it if, if they want to. Um, I believe that it is a liberating thing to free yourself from primitive Superstition. So religion is a primitive superstition. Oh, I, I think it is. Yes. So uh, you believe it's liberating to uh, tell people that there is no God. I think a lot of people, when they give up God, feel a great sense of release uh, and freedom. Why do you think that? I mean, what's your well, dad? What's your scientist? What's your dad? I think. Well, I've had a lot of of letters saying that, and I've, there are eight billion people in the world. Yeah, Dr. Yeah, Dawkins. Know, How many letters yeah, do you have? No, I haven't. I haven't done that. that that's quite quite true. Next, Stein begins to question Dawkins about the existence of God. Being a scientist, he refuses to assign a 100% probability against it. Professor Dawkins seemed so convinced that God doesn't exist that I wondered if he would be willing to put a number on it. Well, it's hard to put a figure on it, but, but I, I, I mean, I put it as something like, you know, 99% against or something. Well, how do you know it's 99% against, just, say, in 97 No, I did, you asked me to put a figure on it, and I, it, I'm not comfortable putting a figure on it. I think it's, I, I just think it's very unlikely. What? But you couldn't put a number on it? No, of course not. So it, it could would be, be 49%. Well, I, it would be, I mean, I, I think it's, it's, it's unlikely, but, but I, but, and it's, quite far from 50 percent. How do you know? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I put an argument in the book. Now the discussion moves to that of origins. This is perhaps the most interesting and surprising portion of the interview. Listen closely to how Dawkins deals with the question of intelligent design. Well, then who did create the heavens and the earth? Why do you use the word who? You see, you, you, you immediately beg the question by using the word who. Well, then how did it get created? <laughs> well, um, by a very slow process. Well, how did it start? Nobody knows how, how it started. We know the kind of event that it must have been. We know the sort of event that, that must have happened for the origin of life. What was that? It was the origin of the first self-replicating molecule. Right. How did that happen? I told you, we don't know. So you have no idea how it started? No, no. no, no nor has anybody. Nor has anyone else. else. What do you think is the possibility that, there, that intelligent design might turn out to be uh, the answer to some issues in uh, genetics or in well, evolution. It could come about in the following way. It could be that uh, at some earlier time, somewhere in the universe, a civilization e evolved by probably some kind of Darwinian means to a very, very high level of technology and designed a form of life that they seeded onto perhaps this, this planet. Um, now, th that is a possibility and an intriguing possibility. Mm -hmm. And I suppose it's possible that you might find evidence for that if you look at the, um, at the detail, details of biochemistry, molecular biology, you might find a signature of some sort of designer. Wait a second. Richard Dawkins thought intelligent design might be a legitimate pursuit? Um, and that designer could well be a higher intelligence 
from elsewhere in the universe. Well, but that higher intelligence would itself have had to have come about by some explicable or ultimately explicable process. It couldn't have just jumped into existence spontaneously. That's the point. So Professor Dawkins was not against intelligent design, just certain types of designers, such as God. So the, the Hebrew God, the God of the Old Testament, he doesn't exist in your view? Um, Certainly, I mean, that would be a very unpleasant pro prospect. And uh, the trend, holy trinity of the no, New Testament. Nothing, Testament, nothing so. like that. Do you believe in any of the uh, Hindu gods? Like Vishnu? How can you ask such a question? You don't, how, right? how could I? I mean, why why in, would I, given that I don't believe in any others? You don't believe in the Muslim god? No. As one of the new atheists, Dawkins comfortably describes the god of the Bible in intensely hostile terms and dismisses the idea of the existence of any god as being absurd although he can't be 100% certain. At the same time, he concedes that it's within the realm of possibility that the study of life on Earth might reveal indications of intelligent design or the telltale signatures of a higher intelligence. When combined with placing the probabilities against God's existence at less than 100%, this concession concerning intelligent design really amounts to giving away the farm.